Hi, I'm Dr. Taylor, a veterinarian with the Food and Drug Administration. Do you have cattle, sheep, goats, or horses? If so, you probably deworm your animals on a regular basis, and it seems to work. But did you know, even with routine deworming, you could still have a parasite problem on your farm? Resistant parasites can threaten your animal's health and welfare. Learning about parasite resistance is the first step in combating it. Let's take a closer look. How's the herd? Oh, hi, Doc. Thanks very much for coming by. Everything's okay, but I do have some questions. I recently heard about parasite resistance. What's your take on that? Parasite resistance to dewormers is an increasing problem in all grazing animals, like cattle, sheep, goats, and horses. And it's not just a problem here in the U.S. It's become a problem in other parts of the world, too. But today, let's focus on your specific parasite control program and see if we should adjust anything based on new recommendations. Well, my herd's about to undergo a regular deworming, but now I'm beginning to wonder if I should be doing something different. Can you say more about resistance? Sure. Parasite resistance occurs when some parasites survive treatment with a drug that previously worked to kill them. This can happen when parasites are exposed to a drug repeatedly. Eventually, they adapt to that drug so it doesn't kill them anymore. In other words, if overused, a dewormer may stop working on your farm. Okay, well, I don't think I have any particular problems. I just want to make sure I'm doing what's best for my animals. We might not know there's resistance unless we look more closely. There's a test called the Fecal Egg Count Reduction Test, and it's the most common way to detect parasite resistance on your farm. We'll collect manure samples from some animals in your herd just before we treat them with the dewormer. Then, about two weeks later, we'll collect a second batch of manure samples. For both sets, I'll count the parasite eggs under a microscope. If the egg numbers in the samples we collect after treatment aren't reduced by at least 90% from what they were in the samples we collected before we dewormed your animals, then the parasites in your animals might be developing resistance to the very dewormer we used. The test isn't perfect, but it can still give you a good idea about how well a dewormer is working in your animals. Okay, that sounds helpful. Keep in mind that resistance to dewormers varies from farm to farm. So, resistance on your farm doesn't mean your neighbor will have resistance, and vice versa. Test results should be compared over time on the same farm. Keeping good farm records can really help with this. I do keep really good records, but how do I keep parasite resistance from occurring in the first place? Parasites can naturally develop resistance over time, so we can't completely stop it but we can work together to slow it down and prevent it from becoming a health problem for your animals. For starters, remember that using dewormers should just be one part of your overall parasite control program. So let's start by working together to come up with a parasite control program that works best for your farm and that keeps your long-term goals in mind. First, we'll do a fecal egg count reduction test. How good are you at estimating the weights of your animals? Fortunately, my chute has a scale, so I don't really have to estimate. Great. Not giving the correct dose, specifically too low of a dose, can lead to parasite resistance, so it's important to give an animal the correct dose based on an accurate body weight. Also, remember to always follow the directions on the dewormer's label. And since we were talking about the future of your farm, don't use dewormers for short-term production gains. Instead, think about your long-term objectives. We want to keep these products effective for as long as possible, right? Right, but it's not only the parasites in the animals that are the problem. How do I keep parasite eggs from occurring in the pasture? If you had small pastures and dry lots, periodically removing manure can help. But with bigger farms, like yours, you can rotate pastures with other livestock species, reduce the number of animals grazing on a particular pasture, and keep pasture grass sufficiently tall. Let's go take a look at your pasture setup to see what will be most practical for you. Great. Seems like there's not one easy method for all farms. I completely agree. Every farm is unique. 
your farming practices, your herd size, where your farm is located, and even the livestock species that you raise, all these variables make parasite control a pretty complex issue. For example, you're running a beef cow-calf operation here, so your deworming practices would be different than if, say example, you were raising backgrounders. Since you have sheep and goats, the FAMACHA test, a simple evaluation of the lower eyelid, can help you evaluate barber pole worm infections. That seems simple enough. You know, Rick, not all animals shed the same number of parasite eggs. About 20% of animals will shed about 80% of the parasite eggs onto the field. These animals are called heavy shedders. I had no idea. What should be done about those? Well, ideally, it would be great if we could identify heavy shedders using a fecal egg count test. Then, based on those results, they should really be removed from the herd. It won't be easy to get a fecal sample from every single animal on my farm. I understand. It might be easier to identify the poor doers in your herd based on fecal egg count tests. Then we can take those test results in combination with your deworming history and work together to develop a parasite control program specifically for your farm. Sounds like a lot to keep track of. Well, you already keep really good records. Just make sure you keep track of the specific animals you treat, when you treat them, what you deworm them with, and their test results. Just keep in mind that your overall goal shouldn't be to keep your animals 100% parasite free. Healthy animals can have some parasites and still thrive. Okay, well, let's get to work. Sounds great. As we just learned, there's no one-size-fits-all parasite control program for every farm and every livestock species. Talk with your veterinarian to develop a program that's right for you. Since resistant parasites can threaten your animal's health and welfare, learning about parasite resistance is the first step in combating it. Implementing parasite control strategies to decrease the development of resistance will positively impact your animals and reflect the enjoyment and pride you take in their well-being. Thank you.